say me, we're in this religion for as many years as I have been, you still be in shock in a lot of ways. Um, it's just a natural consequence, isn't it, to be in shock when you hear things about that religion that you used to vigorously adhere to. But who can deny what's been going on at the moment? It's certainly an eye-opener for me. I see that um, a lot of people have sent me some messages saying, okay, mine, so, you know, the Jehovah's Witnesses are faulted at the moment. <coughs> um, is that any reason to totally give up on a belief in God? And, you know, they make a valid point, really, because would God's purpose still be on track? Everything that he said uh, in the Bible, surely all of that is still going to take place. I've really give this a lot of thought lately. And uh, apart from um, having a few personal problems just lately with my father being ill, I've also had time to look at this situation for what it really is. And I'm absolutely convinced that we will still see the fulfillment of Revelation. I still believe that the image will be destroyed by God's kingdom. Now, I know that a lot of people have moved over to atheism and I'm not going that way. Um, I was trying to explain earlier why I won't go that way. But I still believe that we will see, we will see that great tribulation and we will see Armageddon. I still believe all of that is going to happen. I know we've lost, but we've lost paradise, um, uh, the original paradise of living forever on this earth. And I know that when Jesus offered his life, he balanced the scales and opened the way. So I still think that Jesus is going to return. And I don't want to give up on that particular belief because what else have I got? If I give up on that, what else have I got? I mean, what do the atheists really offer you? What do they really offer you in the way of comfort? They just simply say that we're here by chance. I just can't say that we're here on this earth by chance and that is why I just can't go down that route. So um, now we know that um, there's a few cracks that are appearing in that religion and one court case after another seems to be uh, coming forward and sort of every week you, we hear of different things, don't we? And we know that the reporters are working behind the scenes as well to try and prove that there is a culture of cover-up in that religion. And now we know all this, is this um, the biggest stumbling block now for trying to develop a new relationship with God? <laughs> Have I got to say to myself, it's a complete waste of time? I have a few friends on YouTube that say, no Martin, come on, still believe in what you used to believe in. You just don't have to have it on the, on the terms and on the conditions that it was previously delivered to you on. So, with that in mind again, although I didn't go to the memorial last night, I was invited. I could have gone and I chose not to. I did not want to sit there and feel like a hypocrite for everything that we've learned over the last year about the court cases, child abuse and subsequent cover-ups regarding not reporting and because I've been a bit vocal with that I didn't feel it was appropriate for me to sit on one of their chairs and take part in a ceremony that would have made me look like a bit of a hypocrite 
and I didn't do it for that reason. And it was difficult because my mother expected me to be there. Although my father wasn't going to be there this year because he's now in a home and I've since found out that he might not return back home because his Parkinson's has got uh, quite advanced at this stage now. <clears throat> I am a bit up and down with my emotions at the moment, mainly because of my father. And that probably was one of the reasons why I didn't attend the memorial the other night. I would have felt quite lonely if my dad wasn't there with me because I'm now trying to give you an idea of how many memorials I've actually attended and it looks as if I've only missed one and that was the other night I've missed one memorial in well decades and decades and decades Wow <laughs> who would have thought Marty would not attend the memorial but I tell you guys you can't be a hypocrite and please don't be a hypocrite don't do and say one thing and then do completely the other if you did go to the memorial last night uh, the other night sorry um, I'm not going to uh, criticize you I don't think it's been my place to criticize you you may have only done it to keep the peace if you've done it to keep the peace then I understand that a lot of people do a lot of things in life to keep the peace I mean how many married men put up with a bad marriage and how many women put up with a bad marriage to keep the peace I wasn't interested in keeping the peace I was interested in not coming across as a hypocrite I did not want somebody to point the finger at me and say you know you've been so vocal about them about the Jehovah's Witnesses and uh, yet you went to the memorial you know what's the game Martin what are you playing at I didn't want that I'm hoping that I made the right decision I still miss a lot of uh, the people that uh, I used to consider friends but it is almost like there's us and then there's them and I'm looking now at one of my first videos of when I started to sort of leave that uh, established order because this is interesting now and I nearly fell over then the bloody stool nearly had me over but this is interesting now right I want you all to go and have a look at your first videos of when you first left the Jehovah's Witnesses and try and look at the difference in your rhetoric, everything you've said in your early videos to what you're saying now and please tell me whether you have then noticed a chasm, a rather rather wide chasm developing between what you first believed in as a JW and what you believe in now. I think that you'll notice the difference I've looked at a few, my first videos, I've noticed a huge difference because I wanted to support um, the Jehovah's Witnesses in the early stages of my videos and now, now I have deviated like that there is a gap that has now developed between what I think now and what I thought back then and you will find that this is the same with you yeah, just go and do that, just go and have a look and just see. Even look at someone else's YouTube videos, some of your favourites. Have a look at them and see how they've changed. And the reasons why you change is because... <laughs> obviously the Australian Royal Commission is one of the biggest reasons. But it's this latest court case, this 66 million settlement. That is another reason why... The gap has got bigger and it will continue to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until it is so wide the gap between what you believed in 
when you first left the Jehovah's Witnesses to what you believe in now, you will find that you will never ever be able to bridge that ever again. And a lot of you will say, well, quite frankly, why would we want to bridge that gap? I'm going to leave it there.